It's unknown whether peptides would speed the healing of an ACL tear of the knee without surgical reconstruction. But could peptides like BPC-157, thymosin beta-4, CJC-1295, and others speed recovery from that surgery? My name is Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. Peptides are one of the really hot topics in the world of longevity and anti-aging medicine, and it's getting into the worlds of sports and exercise and sports medicine as basically ways to potentially have injuries heal faster than maybe they would otherwise. Now, before I get into specifically how they might be used in the setting of an ACL tear, I do want to say peptides are, for the most part, considered experimental by the FDA. They're not approved by insurance. Also, I have a lot of thoughts on uh, where people, where patients should consider getting peptides. Spoiler alert, not from online sites, but talking to their doctor and all of that. I've got videos on all of that across my YouTube channel, so definitely look for those content, uh, look for those videos. But I'm not promoting this saying peptides are something you should use for this particular injury. I just want to put all the information out there because I get a lot of patient, a lot of questions from people all over asking about peptides for a variety of injuries. And that's why I want to bring it up here. Peptides, as I've talked about many times before, are short chains of amino acids naturally made in your body. There have been thousands and thousands that have been identified. They all do a variety of different things. And there are some that are thought to be helpful for helping ligaments, tendons, and muscles to heal, like BPC-157, thymosin beta-4, possibly CJC-1295. Now, the trick with the tear of the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament, is that it's deep inside a knee that's enclosed and has synovial fluid. That's thought to be one of the reasons ACL tears do not heal without surgery. Uh, they just don't. The, the thought is that when that ligament ruptures, it's sort of like a rope when it breaks and all the ends are sort of, it's not a clean break. They're all sort of over the place. And then that joint fluid washes away any healing cells and healing uh, tissue, and then it just never heals. That's why surgery is almost always needed. And to be fair, it's hard to imagine how peptides would change that per se, especially peptides that are administered through subcutaneous injection by a patient. Probably not likely to do that much. Now, it's never been studied either in humans or uh, animals for that purpose, so it's possible that it might help. Where potentially, to me, it seems to be more likely to be helpful is if a patient undergoes ACL reconstruction surgery and uses the peptides to speed recovery from that surgery, to increase the strength of the tendons and ligaments around the knee, to increase strength of the muscles uh, to help speed recovery. It wouldn't replace physical therapy, certainly wouldn't replace the surgery, but potentially you might get to a point where you could be a little bit more active early on in your recovery possibly get to a point where maybe you could start running a little bit faster than you would otherwise, maybe get cleared to return to sports a little bit faster and feel a little bit more confident on it, especially as you develop that strength of the hips and the quads and the hamstrings and the calf uh, to basically fire appropriately and strong enough to do your sports specific activities. Again, this is more theoretical. Peptides, to my knowledge, have not been studied in any part of an ACL injury, the surgery, the recovery, but theoretically in terms of what peptides have been shown to do, especially BPC, TB4, or people know it as TB500, or something like CJC1295 with ipamorelin, that might be where there's a role. Again, I'm not pushing this. I'm not saying this is something that you should definitely do, but as someone that researches a lot of this, reads the scientific literature uh, with my background in anti-aging and regenerative medicine and my board certification in it and peptide therapy certification, that's where I potentially would see a role. Now, I'd love to hear about your experience with your injury, whether it's an ACL or otherwise. Leave those in the comments below this video. Just understand if you leave a question in the comments, I can't give you medical advice, but like I did here, I might answer your question in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to be notified when I release a new video and when I start a live stream like my monthly Ask Dr. Guy or Live shows. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.